Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Civilization 5 Let's Play Season 4. This is part 2. And when we left off last, we had our we just got a settler from a free policy tree, uh, or free settler from somewhere in the policy tree under Liberty. And now we're going to settle this spot right here. And we have our warrior all set up to guide him and we're good to go. So next turn. Alright, I uh, want to stay away from Barbarians. I, I could probably fight them, but I would lose, so I'm just going to kind of stay away from them. Yep, no, more ruins. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I need. So, here we go. Uh, every once in a while, you'll get a thing that comes up to tell you how people are doing. The world's most busiest people. I have the most production out of anyone in the game right now. That's good. So, let's get this. Alright, our settler will settle right there. You will go with them. Spacebar. If someone's like has movement points left and you just want to move along, press spacebar. It'll skip that movement turn for them. All right, we still got our scouts down here. Let's keep scouting out. Stay there. So space. Uh, I don't want to do anything with these guys, but I want to use them maybe next turn. So space bar. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You find survivors lost in the ruin. It, that's the ruin I. That's the ruin I found over there. Gratitude. They settle in one of your cities, increasing it. So I just got a population increase for free. That's huge. So let's keep exploring. Oh, we just found a city-state. All right, city-states. City-states are computer-controlled cities that are not trying to win the game. They don't build more cities. They don't do anything. They just defend themselves, and you can interact with them in certain ways. Um, you can you can you can uh, give them money. If you can give them money, troops, defend them, do all kinds of stuff, and if they become allies with you, you get certain benefits. And I'll go through that when I become an ally with one of them. All right, now we're moving. Next turn. Found Hanaway. All right. My happiness is going to become an issue. I know it. Shall the clay right, say we just to got him pottery. that fashioneth it? What? And settle. Build a city. That's my second city. Now, minus two for the city and minus one for the one population. My happiness went from five to two. Now, this guy, uh, he can heal outside city wall, city area, but if he's in a city area, he heals twice as fast. Now, if you want to heal somebody, you press the H key, and what that does is he'll he'll... He'll stay out of your way until he's completely healed, and then the game will tell you that he's healed. Choose production. I always make a monument first. It's good for culture, border expansion, and it, it also doesn't take that much to make. Now these guys are useless here, so what do I want to do with them? Do I want to explore? Yeah, let's explore. i got to think of where I'm going to build my third city. gonna be somewhere over here probably like right here or here all right uh, I think we've explored enough I'm gonna pull my guys or er, I'm gonna finish exploring over here actually I've, I've explored enough in the east I'm gonna explore the west now all right bring the grid up. Anytime I want to look for a place to found a city, I bring the grid up. Uh, right here, I think. I kind of want to crowd him in. I don't want him getting any part of this river. So with that being said, maybe I should go here. 
trying to think how far I want to be. Two spaces in between. So one, two, and then one. That'll be right here. Yeah, let's go there. The settling of your people near my sovereign territory is placing a strain upon relations between our two nations. Now you can say our apologies, or we'll settle where we want. I want to keep them on my good side, so I'll say we'll settle where we want. I knew he was going to be pissed off. If you settle anywhere near them, they get pissed. All right. A land near your city could Economic be advisor, productive. build a worker. Okay, got it. All right. So you can come up here. He should be safe. See, see this area. This will be pretty safe for my worker, to, my settler to go through. Um, but normally, I wouldn't like ever send my my settler out by itself. Choose production. I agree. Definitely build a worker. Scouts get destroyed by uh, warriors. I know I could have just beat that warrior, but the damage I take, it's not even worth it. Alright, that's where I'm going to settle. Right, I just got to remember, to the right of the horses. It's a good place to settle. Okay, these guys are completely healed and now they're coming back into my rotation. So we are going to actually, you know what? With the worker, I think I'll just bring them down here. No, 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 I gotta I gotta use these warriors to guide this settler up. The land looks pretty barbarian free though, I must say. Knock on wood. Alright, so that warrior will guide him, so I can bring this warrior down here. If I'm going to have a worker here, I can't be leaving it open to barbarians. All a barbarian has to do is walk in, and boom, your worker's gone. Alright, these guys are pissing me off. You know what? Screw you. It's pretty sad when you're a barbarian, you just got wiped out by a scout. Alright. So, let me think. I will eventually put a city here, here, or here. Sorry guys, I'm real particular where I put my cities, just one over. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's perfect. Right, next turn. Now the second I set, settle this city, I'm going to go into negative happiness. Which means I need to get these first. Remember these first? Luxury resource plus five happiness. Oh, look at this! This is why these warriors need to come down here. Because barbarians are coming in. Now, anytime you see this little exclamation point that says a city of whatever can attack a nearby enemy, click on it. And then click on the little bullseye, and then shoot the enemy. See? Alright, uh, you. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Ooh, Thebes is starving. That are not good. Right, these barbarians are almost dead. I don't know how Thebes... Oh, I know why Thebes is starving, because I'm still on focus production. Okay, now I go focus food. Or, default. And we're back to good. Uh, and the worker's still going to be done in three turns. That was five, right? 
One, two, three, four. Perfect. See, because now they can both expand twice and not overlap. Or they can both expand once and not overlap. That's good. He's going to be so fucking pissed off. So teach us to number right, our days. One of my guys up. up uh, unit promotion, see right here. Make, make sure when you play, you, you pay attention to this right-hand side. Unit promotion, if you want to know where the unit is or what's going on, click on it. It'll bring you right to them. You can either go in for an instant heal, plus 20% combat strength when fighting in rough terrain. Rough terrain is, is forests, hills, stuff like that. Or uh, open terrain, which is like grasslands. I uh, always go at rough terrain. And finish these guys off. Uh, we've got a warrior up here. Mm. With this barbarian encampment here, I kind of want to leave the warrior there. But the thing is, I need to build roads going from this place to this place to this place. So I need these areas to be safe. Uh, so I will bring one of my warriors down here. This, this warrior will guard this end. Then this warrior that I'm bringing down will guard in this area. And then I'll eventually have another warrior over here. It's very important you guard your cities like that. Now, a, a, war, a barbarian is not going to come in and take your city. But they will destroy your tile improvements. And they will they will take your workers and your settlers. Alright, this is telling me to build a worker. I'm not doing that. I'm building a monument. I don't want to wait 24 turns. So I'm going to monument. And for the research, we will go with mining for stuff like stone. Ooh, maybe we should go at archery. Yeah, let's go at archery. Uh, art, archers are great. Oh, as you can see here, I'm negative two happiness. When you're in negative happiness, see these will grow at one quarter normal speed while the empire is unhappy. That's basically because when your city grows, you get more population. For every population, you lose one one happiness. So in order for them to kind of balance it out, help you out a little bit, they make your cities grow slower while you're in uh, negative happiness. I won't build another city for a little while. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to tell you. Your right. people are no longer. Yeah, I know, thank you. I don't need that. I'm gonna turn that off right now. Uh, advisor level Oh no, that's not that. Is that No advice. I do like my uh Ask your advisors. Okay, you, you can still ask your advisors. These guys, Angel's Curse, anyone new to this game, these guys will tell you what you need to do. They're not always right, perfectly right, but they're pretty good. Alright, so we got a worker here. So first thing we need to do is get our happiness up. If we construct a camp, we will get plus five happiness for the first luxury resource. Alright, found another, uh, if, you, if you're the first one to find a uh, city-state, you get 30 gold. If you're the second, or, you know, if you're not the first one, you get 15 gold. Choose production for Thebes. Now, what are we looking at here? I'm thinking workers. I would like to build settlers, but, you know what, with the unhappiness. I could build a circus, that's plus happiness. Uh... But I think I'm going to go with workers, actually. You need workers. You need a good amount of workers. Alright, the warrior is going to guard this guy, so I'll just leave him here. F for fortify. Build your camp. Next turn. I'm trespassing on a city-state by accident. That means I'm inside their area and they're getting pissed at me. That red means they're getting pissed. I don't want them pissed. I want to make them friends. So I will get out of there. Uh, I'm trying to think of where this, how this road's going to go. It'll go straight up through here. Um, which means I can stand right there and guard. My... If I'm building a road straight up through here, standing right here should guard my, uh, my worker. Well, Alright, we can make archers now. Alright. Should 
choose research or tell two people. Usually two people to tell me to do one thing, I usually do it. Um, tell you the truth, I kind of want mining. I'm going to go with mining. But most of the time, if someone tells two people are telling me to do one thing, I usually do it. Alright, fortify. Remember, fortify is a defensive bonus, and it also makes it so they're not on my rotation on every turn. Uh, one of the people entered the classic age. That's just, uh, that's an age of their science um, technology tree. See, ancient error. Once you get one of these, you're in the classical error, medieval error, and so on. Next turn. All right, I want these guys to fortify until healed, so I H. Choose a production for my second city. Um, that's a good question. It's a really good question. Um, you know what? Let's go with an archer. Adopt a policy. Now, I do want this this one, which gives me more production while building wonders. Eventually, I'm not sure when exactly I should take it. Um, I could also use more workers. Oh boy, I'm gonna go with the worker. All right, see these barbarians right here? That is not not good. Alright, uh, I already have a worker working in Thebes, so let's put our second worker here, and let's build a, I don't know if I want to build a road going up there just yet. The meat shall inherit the just finished mining, firing an enemy, and take him out, oh almost. Choose research. Let's go with, uh... Alright, I'm going right for iron. Now, iron working uh, reveals iron on the map. If you don't have this technology, you can't see the iron on the map. And iron is in specific spots on the map, and it's not plentiful. So you want to build cities next to it to be able to get the iron. You have to be mining the iron to be able to make the strongest units early in the game. So I'm going to go for iron working. Alright, you will build a... You know what, just go up here. Alright, I'm back in plus happiness because I got the fur camp going. Uh, let's finish these guys off. Oh, never mind. Uh... Alright, let's see where... Th now I have four people working tiles. Let's see where they're working. They're not even working the tile I improved, but that doesn't really matter. Um, we should improve this one with food. I guess. It's not really telling you what to improve. Sometimes It usually gives you something. Oh, it's telling me to improve on a plantation. Alright, let's just skip him for now. freaking done pal. All right. Now when you click on uh, a worker it tells you where it wants to improve. See this little white mark right here? It's telling me to build something there but I already have a guy going up there to build something there. So I will build down here and let's build a, a farm. Remember build farms along the, uh, the river. Oh, unit was killed. They got my scout. Who cares? He's useless anyway. Alright, see, now it's telling me to build a farm there. So, recommended construct a farm. Oh, and there's my timer. So that's going to be it for part two, guys, and we'll see you next time for part three. Till then, take it easy.